once upon a star, far, far away past the moon and Mars and Jupiter. There were ghosts. They were different from the ghosts we know. Because they lived in outer space, the sounds they made were different. Their sighing was different. Their moaning was different. Their crying was different. And they were sad at Halloween because they had nothing to do. No houses to haunt like our ghosts. No people to scare. There was none. No tricks to play, except on each other. So, they decided to discover a real Halloween. They glided and soared into space as only ghosts can. They saw something big and red which caught their attention, and so they landed on Mars. But there were only Martians there who looked like monsters and sounded like machines. All kinds of machines. Big ones that squeaked and bubbled, and tooted and hummed. Small ones that blared and clattered. And whistled. and thumped. The ghosts tried to scare them. They clanged chains. They sneaked around and made ghostly sounds. They screeched and they shrieked. But the Martians paid no attention. They were too busy being Martians and sounding like machines, squeaking and bubbling and whistling and thumping. Besides, how can you scare a monster except by being nice? which the ghosts didn't know how to be anyway. So they decided to take off once again in search of houses to haunt and people to scare and tricks to play.
they glided and soared into space as only ghosts can. Then, suddenly, they saw a spaceship coming from the moon. And filled with green cheese, rocks, and astronauts in spacesuits who looked a little bit like people. So, the ghosts thought they would follow along. Some of them hitched rides on the outside of the spaceship, and others rode moonbeams down. Soon they could see the people and the buildings, and soon they could hear the sounds of the earth. Kids playing, parents working and scolding. Cars in traffic. Hey, buddy, will you watch where you're going? And jack o' lanterns laughing because it was Halloween. <laughs> the ghosts from outer space were happy. There were houses to haunt, and people to scare, and tricks to play. They made doors creak in the middle of the night like no doors ever creaked before. They made strange whistling noises outside windows as kids were going to sleep. They hid things that people needed and made things happen that nobody wanted to. But then a really strange thing happened. All the ghosts of the earth became very unhappy and started complaining on the TV news because now no one was paying any attention to them. They were getting lonely, which wasn't right or fair. And everyone was scared only of the ghosts from outer space, who were different from the ghosts we know and made sounds like no other ghosts. <laughs> Send them back to their star where they belong, some of the angry ghosts said. There isn't enough business to go around. Put them in a space capsule and blast them off the face of Halloween. And they decided to do just that. But the ghosts from outer space may have overheard them, for they simply disappeared. They were nowhere to be seen. Maybe they were disturbed at the bad manners of the ghosts of the earth. Maybe they just got tired of parents scolding and cars in traffic and all the pollution all the time and just flew away.
Later, someone said two boys had tied rockets to the tails of their sheets on Halloween. Or maybe they just came to look around and then went home to prepare for the people who would come to their star in spaceships from the Earth one day soon. Whatever really happened, all you could hear at the end of that Halloween were the jack-o'-lanterns of the Earth laughing and laughing. <laughs> and the faraway sounds of the ghosts of outer space gliding and soaring on the other side of the moon and out among the stars.